Hi guys, this is Amanda. Today I have for you um, a little mini album that I created. It's just a simple little album um, all about kitty cats or kittens and cats kittens and um, I wanted to share it with you. I used doodlebug paper and doodlebug odds and ends. It's on the line that they have for cats. So the front, I just took some of the cut apart and some of the stickers and I popped them up and made them two dimensional on the front cover. I have this one, I think was a sticker and I backed it on white paper. The others are all, um, are all the just ephemera pieces and the odds and ends ephemera and then the heart I doubled it up and then backed it on white and then popped it up with foam, foam tape and honestly I like it it's very simple and pretty and nice so what I did was I made everything basically I used a lot of black and white with this album and then with the pops of color from the um, Echo Park paper. So I just have photo mats in here. Pictures can be added to the front or even to the back. And then I use stickers and ephemera pieces to add some interest. This is another photo mat. And then like on the, on the Echo, the colors, they match perfectly. And this, this, it's all polka dot on one side and stripes on the other or diagonal stripes on the other side. And I just really love this because it's the cat images on the odds and ends package and the stickers are just so typical of cats. So I'm going to remove the photo mats as I go along. For this one, I hand drew this little like thinking cloud and added some thought bubbles and put this little cat thinking about the mouse. And that was a sticker. And on this side, it's actually, this is actually a pocket with all the little kitty paw prints and I can stick stuff in there, which like I did back here, um, in one of the others, I just have a little milk jug and I can put that there. This is just a flap, an interactive piece where you can put photos here and then another photo mat. And on this page, I put the little scrabble, scrabble type, um, pieces of ephemera on here and with the little fish bone. So I really think that's cute. And this does cover it up, but it's okay. You can just remove that. Next page is on the purple with more photo mats. And then I have a journaling card here and it just looks like little notebook paper with the paw print on the end. I, I like that so much. And then I put the lady here because so many cats are ladies. This um, page is a double open page where um, you can fit like at least four photos here. I have leftover stickers so I could actually, you know, decorate these pages as well if I wanted to, but I chose to keep them blank at this time. And then these were little picture frames that had um, like a heart and a bird on the inside and I popped those out. They're like the Instamatic frames and then I just made a little um, picture photo mat for each one of these. I'll leave those in there. And here we have a belly band with a couple of photo mats and the little paw print on the um, decorative piece on the inside of the band. And then this one has a reverse waterfall. I did this one so that the waterfall actually falls down this time. But what I did, rather than having this part fall down, is I taped these two sides closed so that I can just tuck little things in and out of there. And I thought that was really cute. This side we have a couple more photo mats with a little can of sardines. And that's an ephemera piece. And I left that open. It kind of hangs over there a little bit. This is just a design and I didn't and I didn't leave this to have any photos on it. I thought I wanted it to just be purely decorative. And so I have the little tree here with a bird and a cat kind of, you know, thinking about the cat a little bit or I mean thinking about the bird a little bit. And then we have more photo mats here and I have two little birds and I hand wrote tweet with a little um, couple of um, music notes there. And then on this side, it has a big ephemera piece 
to have an interactive. You can put a photo here or a photo here. This is a very simple album to make. It's very fat and full. And um, so, I mean, we all love our pets, so it leaves a lot of room to have lots of our pet pictures or ourselves with our pets. And this again is a pocket. I could put something there. Another photo mat tucks behind this um, little basket of kittens. And this is popped up on um, foam tape so I can tuck something back here. Um, another photo mat with this carton of milk bottles. And this is only, this is left is open here to tuck the photo mat in. Another photo mat with a sleeping cat with a little handwritten Z's there. And then this one, I just thought this is so cute. It's the last page and I have multiple photo mats, but then I also have perfect, like perfect there with a couple little kitty paw prints and this cute little adorable cat coming, peeking out of a little cat house instead of a dog house. And then I backed the back with um, the pink paper and a little ball of yarn. So this is my little cat um, photo album or photo book or however you want to call it. And it's all about cats. I love it. It makes me smile. So thanks a lot, guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.